Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to top 10 biggest naval bases in the USA. And yeah, I mean, the titles, you can tell what it is off the title, but I don't know which side would they be, like, which side would they be more on, east or west? I'm going to assume the west coast because I guess on the east, it's like Europe and their allies of a lot of the European countries. But then I guess Russia's that side as well. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's even. It's probably not even like that different, but... I would just say the West, yeah, the West because of China and North Korea, and that's pretty much it. And I guess Russia as well because of Alaska and stuff. But yeah, that's that's just my guesses. I don't really know if it really is a difference. But we're going to jump into this. Hopefully, going to enjoy. I'm I'm not ill, but I'm still coughing and I've got a blocked nose. I don't know why it's still here because I've not really been ill for ages. Like I feel fine, but my throat's just ticklish and my nose is just constantly blocked at the moment. I used some Sudafed, so hopefully that will help. But We'll see if I'm sniffling through the video, but yeah, my links are in the description to my Patreon if you want to see some more of my reactions. I've recently been reacting to Black Hawk Down, the film. I've reacted to part one. I'm reacting to the second part just after I do my YouTube reactions. And if you want to see my movie reactions, links are in the description in the description to my Patreon. And if you want to see some more in the future, that's where it'll be as well. And you can suggest things there as well. But um, yeah, we're going to jump into this video and see the biggest naval, naval bases in the US. And I also wonder where... The 10 biggest in the US would rank in the world. I'm assuming some of them will be the biggest. But I guess even t the 10th biggest one will probably be in, what, the top 50? I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe even higher up, like the top 30. The top 10 biggest and busiest naval bases in the United States of America. So intense. The United States has by far the strongest military in the world with the responsibility to maintain the defense of America and its <laughs> allies and provide peacekeeping forces all over the world. The United States is home to more than 40 naval bases spread across the eastern and western coasts. Here are the 10 biggest naval bases in the United States based on support population. Number one, Naval Station Norfolk. Wait, so number one, wait, we're starting with the biggest. Huh? Maybe not the biggest, maybe the order's just weird. I mean, look at that. Jesus. And on the naval bases, say like your, wait, is this all part of the naval base as well? I assume it is just like, a, it looks like a normal road, but are you stationed here? Are you living your life as if you're just, you're stuck in this base and you're not allowed to go out to other places from out, like, out around? Like, I guess when you're on duty in these bases, even though maybe you're near a city or something like that, you're still going to be stationed and you have to just be in your in your station or whatever, I'm assuming. Naval Station Norfolk, the world's biggest naval base, is situated in southeastern Virginia in the Sewell's Point Peninsula of Norfolk City. The base was established in 1917 and covers an area of approximately 3,400 acres. The base provided trading for U.S. and Allied naval air units during World War II and currently houses 149,000 personnel, including active duty, family members and dependents, reservists, Department of Defense civilians and joint forces. That's bigger than some armies in this base alone. What? The Naval Station Norfolk ensures operational readiness of the U.S. Atlantic Fleet by providing facilities and installation services for the biggest concentration of the U.S. Navy, including 75 ships and 134 aircraft. Number two, the Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, located 13 kilometers west of Honolulu, has more than 55,000 Marines and their families as well as over 5,000 Air Force members and their families. I mean, that's big, but you compare that to number one, it's a crazy difference. It's nearly triple. The U.S. Navy set up the naval base at Pearl Harbor in 1908, occupying a famous role in World War II. It occupies 27,694 acres of land and forms a vital element of the U.S. defense providing mooring, shoreside support, and maintenance to surface fleet and submarines, in addition to supporting air operations in the Pacific and Asian regions. Pearl Harbor. Wait. Pearl Harbor has a city. Wait, is that? 
Well, wait, really? It's it looks like a city there. What? I didn't know Pearl Harbor was this big. Wait, Pearl. It, am I just being stupid? It, it does have a city. What? That's really shocked me. I don't know why, but that's really like I love seeing this sort of stuff because it's literally just a. I mean, it's a Hawaiian island, but. It is really in the middle of nowhere. What the hell? That's baffled me. God damn. The more you know. ...is home to more than 160 commands, as well as 11 ships, 19 <coughs> submarines and aircraft, including the C-17 Globemaster III, KC-135 Stratotanker, and the F-22 Raptor. The big boys, huh? Number three, Naval Air Station Jacksonville. Naval Air Station Jacksonville is the biggest Navy base in the Southeast region and third largest in the U.S. The base received the 2013 Commander Navy Installations Commander Excellence Award for the best large installation in the U.S. NAS Jacksonville was established in 1940 in Duval County near the bank of the St. Johns River in Northeast Florida. The base is spread over an area of about 3,400 acres. It currently accommodates 53,590 people including non-appropriated fund employees, federal employees, Department of Defense personnel, contract employees, and family members. The Naval Air Station Jacksonville trains airmen for meeting high-impact warfighter needs and also supports U.S. and allied troops specializing in anti-submarine warfare. When he says family members, do you like the people who are here, the people that are working, the soldiers or whoever it is, the pilots, do they like live in their own sort of housing areas with their families is that what he means by that because if that's the case i didn't know i thought they just split off but maybe some of them do and some of them don't i'm not too sure but is there housing areas for families and soldiers at the same time so like they'll do all this through the day and then they'll spend the, the nights with their families or something number four naval base san diego Naval Base San Diego in California serves as a primary home port for the Pacific Fleet in the middle and accommodates 48,000 military and civilian personnel, making it the fourth biggest naval base in the U.S. The U.S. Navy established a destroyer base in the city of San Diego in 1922. The base was renamed Repair Base San Diego during <laughs> World War II and performed the overhaul, repair, and maintenance of more than 5,117 ships between 1943 and 1945. The base saw a major expansion during the Korean War and currently occupies an area of more than 2,000 acres. Naval Base San Diego is home to approximately 180 individual commands and 57 ships from the U.S. Navy, Coast Guard, and Military Sea Lift Command. It's also home port to the U.S. Navy's modern surface combatants, littoral combat ships. Number 5. Naval Base Kitsap well, this music coming Naval from? Base Kitsap on the Kitsap Peninsula is home to more than 45,000 on-duty and support personnel, including 12,825 active duty members, 14,071 civilian employees, and 18,700 family members. The base was formed by combining the former Naval Station Bremerton and Naval Submarine Base Banger in 2004 and supports the U.S. Navy fleet operating across West Puget Sound. The Naval Base Kitsap serves the surface vessels and submarines based at Bremerton and Bangor. It's also connected with Puget Sound Naval Shipyard, where the majority of vessels and submarines are overhauled. Number six, Naval Air Station. So they all seem like they, they excel in different areas. Some are more focused on the aerial side. Some are more focused on, the, obviously, the, the naval side. But... I guess some of them have more like subs, some have more attack ships and like all these different things, right? Maybe not, maybe it is all just evenly spread out, but I feel like it's a bit like some are more specialised for different things. Corpus Christi. I've heard this one before, I feel like. 
Naval Air Station Corpus Christi, situated on the southeast side of Corpus Christi, Texas, accommodates 43,287 personnel, including active duty members, employees, retirees, and family members. Naval Air Station Corpus Christi was commissioned in March 1941 and trained 35,000 naval aviators by the end of World War II. It was the only facility providing primary, basic, and advanced training in the U.S. and trains about 600 aviators each year. The Naval Air Station is home okay, to Okay, so yeah, this is literally focused on um, planes and pilots and Air stuff. Air Wing then. 4 and Corpus Christi Army Depot serving the rotary wing aircraft of the U.S. Department of Defense. The base maintains facilities to support aviation training and other missions. Number 7, Naval Station Mayport. Look at that. Naval Station Mayport has a base population of 34,315 and occupies 3,409 acres on the banks of the St. Johns River, about 24 kilometers east of Jacksonville. Are these kind of naval are these kind of um areas considered towns or cities or are they just is that just unrelated to it because there's the populations of towns and cities, but would they be recognized as that, or is it just seen as military bases and stuff? That's that is that the, li the limits of how it's seen. Naval station. Because 34,000 is what the seventh highest, but even then, that's a lot of people. Like that, that would be considered a city or t not a town in terms of population, but obviously, I guess maybe the rules don't apply because it is a naval base. And Mayport includes a busy seaport and an airfield. The naval base was formally commissioned in December 1942 and served as a strategic asset during the Cuban Missile Crisis, Operation Desert Shield, Operation Desert Storm, Operation Desert Fox, and Operation Allied Force. The base is home to 70 tenant units, 20 naval vessels, and six helicopter squadrons, and houses up to 34 ships. The runway of the naval station can accommodate all types of aircraft in the DoD inventory. Number eight, Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth. Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth houses 27,098 personnel, including active duty members, reserves, family members, as well as federal and civilian employees. The base was set up in October 1994 as the first joint reserve base in the U.S. and hosts a variety of units from the U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Army, and Texas Air National Guard. The base was set up in October 1994 as the first joint reserve base in the U.S. and hosts a variety of units from the U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Army, and Texas Air National Guard. The Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth accommodates 40 separate commands and supports the training activities of troops in all branches of the armed services. The base supports the operations of C-40 Clipper, F-16 Fighting Falcon, C-130 Hercules, F-A-18 Hornet, KC-130 Hercules, and RC-12 aircraft. Number nine, Naval Base Coronado. See, this looks a lot more, f oh, this looks a lot more familiar. Oh, what's up in there? This is the sort of thing you see in Call of Duty. What, I don't know what these things are called, but I know I've definitely seen these a lot. Are they just warehouses, I guess? Like, just plain warehouses or whatever. And this is just literally built in the middle of a city. Like you see over here, this is just a normal city, right? And it's just built here. It's so that's so random. I always thought they were just either in the middle of nowhere or on the outskirts, but this looks like it's right in the center. That's really interesting. But damn, I guess it's important for certain aspects. But like, is this just wait, let me go back. Wait, is this just like a row of houses? I guess this is like the military accommodation, maybe. I mean, you see this here, the aircraft carrier or whatever it is, but over here and over here, surely that's not connected. I mean, I'm almost certain it isn't, but still. Naval Base Coronado, the largest command in the Southwest, is home to 27,000 military and civilian personnel. The base occupies more than 57,000 acres, including airfields, ports, and training ranges. The Naval Base Coronado is formed of eight naval installations, including Naval Air Station North Island, Naval Amphibious Base Coronado, Naval Outlying Landing Field Imperial Beach, Naval Auxiliary Landing Field San Clemente Island, Silver Strand Training Complex, Mountain Warfare Training Camp Michael Monsoor, Camp Morena, and Remote Training Site Warner Springs.
Number 10. Naval Air Station, Patuxent River. So now as this is in the middle of nowhere, this looks a lot different to the other ones. Also, I've just realized this is just in the US. I wonder what the biggest ones the US have in other countries. Because obviously you have that massive one in Germany where it's like its own city, its own US city in the middle of Germany. Which that one fascinates me more than anything. But there's probably some ones that are bigger than I guess these sort of size ones in other countries that the US own. I wonder what the biggest US base in the UK is. I'm going to search after. Naval Air Station Patuxent River is located on a peninsula between the Chesapeake Bay and Patuxent River. The base occupies 6,400 acres of land and houses 24,700 oh, people, making it the 10th biggest naval base in the U.S. Naval Air Station Patuxent River was commissioned in April 1943 with the primary mission of providing operational support and services for aircraft and ship or shore electronics. The base records more than 165,000 aircraft movements per year. It's home to more than 50 tenant commands and is controlled by the Naval District Washington. It hosts the Naval Air Systems Command and the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division Headquarters. Well, Dan, the more you know. Now I want to see... Oh. A army base, I guess, in in the UK. Um, what is it? Lakenheath. So I feel like I have heard that, heard of that. Oh yeah, it's near me. It's located in Suffolk, in the eastern part. Where in Suffolk is it? Damn, it's close to me. What the? What the fuck? That's really. So I'm here. God damn, it's close. I've probably seen it. I probably drove past it because obviously when you go to London, you do... Actually, I feel like you go down here. But unless there's like a road here. When I last went to London, we got the bus to Cambridge. So it was here to here. It went to Cambridge, then it went to London because we went to an airport. So you know what? I've probably drove past it many times. Uh, so it's RAF, but I guess it is linked. Now I want to look into this because this is really interesting to me how it's so close. Largest deployment of United States Air Force personnel in the United Kingdom. The RA Flake in the US base. The Liberty Wing consists of more than 4,000 military members, over 1,500 British and US civilians, and includes a geographically separated unit at nearby RAF Feltwell. Oh, well, damn. The more you know. Wait, so you can actually... Can you go there? I guess you can't. I guess you can't. <laughs> Wait. A pub in every village town. This is where I learned to shoot darts. Well, let's just search Lake and Heath, Suffolk, because maybe there's some. I guess it's like built around the town, right? Well, I guess this is the takeoff point. What about U.S. overseas army base? Is it the one in Germany? Camp Humphreys in South Korea. Yeah, that's probably not a surprise, to be fair. <laughs> oh, is this... Oh, we can't see that. I guess this is the housing for it? I don't know. But yeah, this is interesting. Maybe I can do a reaction to overseas ones next. That would be interesting to me. But hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, I subscribe and peace.